Hi everyone, now that we've finished shading the blade and the handle part for the axe, we are now gonna create more texture and add those little details to our game prop. And first we're gonna create an art brush for the scratches. So I'm just creating a shape here which will be the darkest part of our scratch. So I'm just gonna sample from the wooden color here and turn it into multiply. Then I'm just gonna lock it and draw the bottom part of the scratch. And I'm just gonna turn this also into a screen mode because the shape here will be the one to catch light and reflect. And now that we've created the scratch for our wooden handle, we're gonna turn this into an art brush now. So let's just drag it to the brush window and choose art brush and then name it as scratches. And for the brush scale options, we're gonna choose a scale proportionately and the default settings here is enough. So just press OK. So now we're gonna start detailing the handle here. So, and as you can see, I'm using the brush tool or you can press B on your keyboard and I'm just drawing the strokes right here and creating the scratches on the wooden handle. Also be sure to vary the stroke length when you draw the scratches so that the size of the scratch also varies because we've selected scale proportionately so the size of the scratch will also depend on the length of our brush stroke. So I'm just laying down scratches here. and maybe some more here and if you go overboard a bit you can just delete them after so I'm still fixing here by scaling these guys and deleting these ones first and now we've finished designing and detailing our wooden handle and so we can detail the blade faster we're gonna use the same shape or scratches we've created for the wooden handle so let's just turn this into gray by sampling on the color of the blade here and I'm just gonna drag it again in the brushes panel and turn it into an art brush and then we can name this new art brush blade scratches and then set the scale options to scale proportionately again and the default settings right here are okay so just press ok and now we're gonna go into isolation mode by double clicking the group of the blade and then by using the brush tool or pressing B on your keyboard we're gonna draw our scratches now and I'm just gonna make sure I've selected the new brush and then we're gonna start detailing or drawing the scratches and as you can see I'm just creating random strokes and I'm just using my mouse to create details right here and just be sure to vary the stroke length so that you can have different sizes of the scratches and I'll just continue on to create more details and here's our detailed blade and if you want to edit the scratches you've created you just go into isolation mode again since we've created it inside the group and now you can just rotate or scale them as to your liking and you can also change the intensity if you want the scratches to be more subtle or even remove scratches if you think you've gone overboard and that's it for the detailing part of the blade and now all we got to do is to add a simple dirt texture to the blade so that we can add more realism to the design. And what I'm doing here is I'm just creating a random dirt shape by using the pencil tool. And I'm just going to make similar shapes on the other parts of the blade. So I'm just going to draw a similar shape here. Just make it more random and you can just use your mouse and scribble away. And I'll just select it and turn it into multiply. And since we are in isolation mode, we can just press Ctrl A to select everything and then use the Shape Builder tool and remove the excess part. And now we've actually finished creating the design for the Barbarian Axe. And in the next video, I'm gonna teach you how to create overall borders for your game art and how you can use masking to create those worn out effects for your game artwork.